Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Kagame, the president of Rwanda, is coming out to reject helicopters donation from United States of America. Many people, they have come out to describe these donated helicopters from United States of America as donated coffins. And even we are being told that William Ruto himself understands that he cannot have these helicopters. So in the year 20, it was 2016, we are told that Uhuru Megai Kenyatta spent public resources buying these helicopters from the United States as it was a kind of dumped and already used helicopters that was bought by Uhuru Mege Kenyatta's regime. So as Paul Kagame rejecting these donated helicopters is raising a kind of conversation across Africa. Does it mean that Africa or African countries, they don't have money to buy new helicopters? And they usually just buy rejected and used helicopters. And that is why they usually take it, they rebrand it, maybe they give military or these politicians or leadership of the government of the day. And that is why, for example, in 2016, when Uhuru Megai Kenyatta bought them, and we thought like these helicopters, some of them were donated, some were bought, and still, Ilikwena Nuliwa is second hand. So, the scenario that we are in as Africans is that you will find that our countries, they will usually depend on things that has been already used. For example, look at the bigger percentage of vehicles we are using. Some of them are used. Look at clothes. Mitoma, some of them are used, you know. But it seems like if we are not going to depend on these second-hand goods coming from those countries, we cannot survive. And that is why the president of Rwanda is coming out to understand that we are not going to accept this kind of donations. We are not sure what kind of problem these helicopters are having. And even if they are giving us, already these helicopters might could have this kind of scenario, maybe breakdown. Maybe accident repair or And that is why you will see these scenarios of helicopters in Anguka left, right, center. So for me, when I saw this news, I realized that Kenyans and other countries in Africa, we must come out to have real conversation. Real conversation about things we are using because we might be using coffins in the name of new vehicles in the name of new ship, in the name of new helicopters, or even airline. So we must be very serious because we might use second hand things. And that is why most of the time you will find that any donated kind of maybe vehicle or helicopter or any airline Uwa yendangi salama. Ni unapada kwamba inauwa Africans. 
Now, wakati in our Africans, they are getting easy way of governing Africa. That is the mentality of these people. So they want to finish us by convincing our presidents to buy or adopt this kind of donations, which for us is like someone is telling you, come for poison. Come for poison. And this is the poison. Then you take, you think it is a food, then as you will be dying, the person that gave you that poison will be already celebrating because already there is a lot of minerals they can exploit. And sometimes as Kenyans, for example, look at the issue of coffee. Coffee, our watu wanakuja kuchukua coffee vile inatoka kwa shamba hivyo. Wanachukua na bei rahisi, pa kilo maybe 50. Ikitoka kwa shamba hivyo vile wanatoa hivyo. Then wanatoa wanaenda wanatoa hiyo ngozi, wanafanya nini? Wanakaranga vitu zote. Inakuwa sasa coffee tofauti 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 tofauti. Then after that, inarudishwa tena Kenya ama nchi yote wanauza bei kali sasa kofi. Unapata kwamba 1 kilo wakati ulikuwa unauza 50 bob, hao wanarudisha sasa yenye wamerefine wame mzuri, 1 kilo ni even 3400, 1 kilo. They benefit more on what we do on our farms than what we benefit from the payment. So me, I've realized something that is very crucial. As Rwanda rejects way to choppers from U.S. over safety concerns, they're not going to massage anyone again. They're going to say the truth the way it is. The way it is. Because if a president is going to collect all these donated helicopters, you don't know about their security. Then you are going to be killed. Even the president himself in our country cannot attempt to uh, abort the, this kind of helicopters. I will who are sometimes you unapata hata hizi ndege Air Force hizi president anapanda. Ni zile mpya. I think zinakuanga mpya. Huwa azikwangi zimetumika. Zinatoka kwa duka direct. Lakini sasa wanajua kwamba sisi tumezoea vitu sekondari. Tutazisanya tu. Tutazisanya tu. Na tukuja tu tukufe nazo hapa Africa. And that is why utapata accident ya ndege sasa imekuwa kama gari siku hizi. Accident ya ndege. Oh, watu walianguka mahali wamechomeka. Oh, watu wameangia kwa maji. Oh, sijui ni ndege ili lose control. Sijui oh, watu kadha wamekufa. Those are the kind of rhetoric stories we usually have. So for me, this was a right trajectory for Paul Kagame. And remember, Paul Kagame has been very eloquent and robust. How these people, if you are not careful, they might finish you. The same to the president of Uganda. You've seen him even many times. Not even when he's going to US. Anasemanga ya nabibanga kama ni mananasi ya nabeba yake kutoka Uganda. Kama ni ugali ya nabeba, anabeba hile unga kutoka Uganda. Ile ya kienda kupika uko, anapikuwa zile ya mebeba. Alisema food ego pathetic. He cannot eat. So those are the scenarios. Ima present uwa wana in, wa, 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 they go through. They usually go through. So for me, ladies and gentlemen, I think it is a right time we as Africans to stand strong and say no to things that are going to harm us, that are going to kill us, that are going to destroy us, and is going to create disaster in our continent. And because some people think like, their safety is more important than us. So now, it is our time to consume rejects and used things that might kill us. Then we buy it comfortably like that. I think it is a right time, like the way Paul Kagame is putting it. They are rejecting these choppers from US over safety concerns. And that is it. They are not returning back. They are not adding anything or subtracting anything that is their decision so they are saying 
No to this donated choppers from United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.